channel if you're new welcome to my channel thank you for clicking on this video to watch it so um, today I am here to show you guys how I did my Bantu knot Bantu knot out <laughs> so this is my first time trying this style and I like the way it came out my curls came out pretty defined I do like it um, my hair doesn't have any curls. I think I'm in the category of 4C. It's just furry, no curls at all. And um, I was thinking of how to style my hair and I decided to do Bantu knot. If you do have short hair, like my hair is short, this is a very good style to try. It's very cute and pretty. I mean, I don't mind it at all. I love it. I'm impressed with it. If you do want to know how I got this look, and how I did my bank to not out. Please keep on watching and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hello. So here I am spraying my hair with water. There's nothing mixed with water. It's just water in the bottle. So if you're growing your hair natural, I'd suggest you get yourself a water bottle. You can get this from any beauty supply store or from Walmart. I believe Walmart carries a few of those. So you can go to Walmart and get one for yourself. So I divided my hair and now I'm detangling the hair using my white tooth comb. And so I'm taking a section and I'm going to use my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm using this as a moisturizer for my hair. So I'm taking a little bit of that, putting it on my hair, starting from the ends of my hair and working my fingers up to the roots of my hair. So next I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Coil Enhancing Smoothie. Again, taking a little bit of that and putting it on my hair. Starting from the ends and working my fingers up to the roots of my hair. And now I'm going to divide the hair into two and begin twisting. If you're new to braiding or twisting in general and you don't know how to twist, I hope that by watching this video, you'd learn how to twist. I hope this video is pretty self-explanatory and you can learn without me explaining because i really don't know how to explain twisting <laughs> but i hope you understand it and learn from this video so i twist my hair until i get to the ends of my hair and i take my eco styling gel i take a little bit of that and just run my fingers through the strands of hair and concentrating it more on the ends of my hair i twist some more and then i twirl the ends of my hair on my finger and begin wrapping so here in wrapping this is very critical when you're wrapping i found that it's best to well what i'm doing is pinching the root of my hair and then wrapping just below where i'm pinching I don't know if that makes sense. So I pinch the root of my hair and then I begin wrapping just below where I'm pinching as close to the roots as possible. It's, it's important that while you're wrapping, you feel pressure on, your, on the roots of your hair. It makes you feel that your hair is secured enough that it doesn't unravel at night while you're sleeping. So I'm going to show you guys again how I do this. Remember that while you're twisting, to get a very good twist, you have to twist as close as possible to each twist. Do not leave a lot of gap while you're twisting. So make it tight enough and close together. Uh, I hope I'm making sense. But yeah. So when I get to the end of my twist, my hair, I twirl the hair around my finger and then I begin wrapping. I wrap by pinching my roots, the roots of the hair. With my index and thumb finger, I pinch and then I wrap my hair around just below where I pinched. I hope that by watching this video, you can understand what I'm doing pretty easily. So I keep wrapping until there's no more hair to wrap. So after I finish wrapping my hair, look at the results and this is what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to wear this big bonnet and I am going to sleep and wake up tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like. So this is the next day. 
hence the makeup and everything and my hair stayed all night it did not unravel not one came out so yeah I'm going to use the black custard oil putting a little bit on my palm and rubbing my palms together I am going to rub it all over my hair I just did this because I wanted a little oil on my fingers while I unraveled my my bantu knot so I would show you guys how the curls came out and then later on I would show you guys how I unravel my bantu knot so this is the coil and it just feels like a bouncy spring thing I like it it, it came out more than I expected the curls are very defined and I'm happy with it So I'm taking it and if you if you have to turn it in the direction that it feels easier to so if I turn it to this direction it doesn't come off easily but when I turn it to this direction it unravels see and then I take it apart I find the hole And then I take it apart like that you have to be very gentle and careful not to pull your own hair out you know don't be rough with your hair and then I take one strand this is a two strand I take one strand and then I separate it one more time and then I take the other strand and I separate it so while you're separating it like this be very careful not to pull your hair out and that's how I unravel my bantu knot so I'm going to show you again if I so if I take this and turn it this way it doesn't come off but when I turn it the opposite way it comes off very easily so the trick is to you know turn it the other way that doesn't give you a lot of um, resistance so just take that and find the gap between the two um hair strands take one strand separate it take the other strand separate it and be very careful look it, it cut here but then you go down and separate it easily you can leave it after you've separated it the first time you don't have to separate it a second time okay so after unraveling it make sure you feel around <laughs> to be sure that there's no other one left unraveled so yeah so um the next thing i'm going to do is take my white tooth comb and just go to the root and pull just a little bit pulling from the root because i want to cover the um the splits so i'm not pulling completely to the top this is just to cover the roots you know so I'm not pulling completely to the top I'm just you know so I'm going to use an old toothbrush and brush <clears throat> the edges you can style it however you want to but um, I think I like the way it is right now or maybe I should move a little bit to the front to the side so I'm just gonna take this side and just do this to it so there's a pattern And the coils came out pretty pretty nicely so that's it this is the finished look and I'm happy with it I'm very happy with it I wasn't expecting it to come out this good um, but it did and <laughs> I'm really really happy with it I'll show you the back I hope you could see 
do that. Don't be afraid to give anything a try. Give this a try. You might like it. Um, I do like it. I never thought for once that I would love this style, but I, I like it and I think I'll just keep doing this style. I like the way I look and I'm not afraid to shine. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or learned something from this video, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this hair and you know, what do you think about it? I actually want to know. I really do want to know what you think. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye.